Bitcoin. Everyone knows what this digital currency is and everyone wants a piece of it. However, Bitcoin is just that, a digital currency based on blockchain technology. Bitcoin is unable to give any other utility other than being a currency. Here comes Ethereum, a coin that is able to scale up the blockchain technology while modeling the success of Bitcoin. Ethereum really opens the doors to a new flood of altcoins, but what does this have to do with our topic? To simply put it, DeFi 2.0 is somewhat like Ethereum, and DeFi 1.0 is Bitcoin. DeFi 2.0 is the second evolution of decentralized financial infrastructure on the blockchain. It aims to solve the problems of DeFi 1.0. If you don't know what DeFi is, we have a video on that. Check the link in the description below. But in short, DeFi aims to have a decentralized ecosystem like our traditional financial system, but without intermediaries like your banks, brokers, and stock exchanges by using blockchain technology. What are the problems of DeFi 1.0? Most DeFi platforms get liquidity by incentivizing third parties to lend their tokens to their protocol exchange. These platforms use those tokens to offer services like collateralized borrowing or token trading. In order to attract more liquidity due to competition from other new DeFi protocols, platforms start to offer more and more rewards. This is not sustainable in the long run as the platform will eventually run out of rewards and the lenders will cash out to find the next shining high rewards DeFi protocols, leaving the current one in the mud. DeFi 2.0's goal is to provide long-term liquidity by coming up with creative ways to solve this issue. These platforms offer a bonding structure that distributes discount balances over time. The higher the liquidity, the less volatile the price of the token price. For example, Olympus owns 99.5% of its liquidity making it hard for whales to dump their positions and crash the token price. Do keep a lookout on our upcoming video, where we will cover Olympus in detail. DeFi 2.0 will not rely on fiat-backed stablecoin. If you don't already know, DeFi is decentralized finance. DeFi 1.0 protocols are backed by stablecoins, and being backed by fiat stablecoin is a contradiction. DeFi 2.0 is aiming to move away from being backed by the fiat-backed stablecoin. Alchemix, Fay Protocol and Olympus DAO are examples of protocols trying to address this issue. Using Olympus as an example again, as it is leading the pack, its treasury is backed by a basket of assets. DeFi 2.0 will be even more decentralized. Via Decentralized Autonomous Organization or DAOs, Check out our video on what is a DAO. In short, token holders manage the organization and not a central authority. And any holders can propose changes to the DAO and everyone votes on it. An example besides Olympus DAO is Totemac, which helps solve the scalability issue by fighting against centralization using a DAO system. DeFi 1.0 protocols are tough to navigate, even for experienced crypto users due to the complicated UI and UX on dApps. DeFi 2.0 protocols have to address this issue in order for mainstream adoption. MetaMask is developing MetaMask Institutional, a new wallet targeting institutional investors, hoping to get more of them to try out DeFi. DeFi 2.0 dApp can operate as a completely independent and self-contained ecosystem, moderated by its own rules and governance model. It is controlled by its blockchain network, operating by its consensus mechanism, which could be proof of work or proof of stake or hybrid. Here's a rundown of some DeFi 2.0 projects. Ohm is a decentralized model with bonds to secure liquidity. TOK is a decentralized exchange, or DEX for short, that creates sustainable DeFi liquidity and capital efficient markets through a convenient decentralized market-making protocol. Ondo Finance. Ondo splits the liquidity position into two sides, fixed tranche and variable tranche, thereby bridging DeFi and traditional finance. Lido. LDO, a liquid staking solution for Ethereum. Lido lets users stake their Ethereum with no minimum deposits or maintaining of infrastructure. 
whilst participating in on-chain activities, for example lending, to compound returns. Convex Finance, CVX, a platform that boosts rewards for CRV stakers and liquidity providers alike, all in a simple and easy-to-use interface. Pros of DeFi 2.0 DeFi 2.0 Crypto is the next evolution of decentralized financial infrastructure on the blockchain. It is the business-grade infrastructure that enables developers to manage an entire economy without worrying about being locked out by an outside party who may change the rules at any moment. It allows every dApp to have its token, currency, and ecosystem of participants. It is built on public blockchains, such as Ethereum, which means you get the benefits of blockchain with absolutely no drawbacks. Cons of DeFi 2.0 the current world central banking system is in control of all fiat money and currency exchange rates where it can take advantage of its positions to manipulate market rates for its benefit, which is not in line with DeFi 2.0 crypto's vision of a decentralized global economy with freedom and equality. There is also the risk of losing one's investment. DeFi 2.0 crypto projects have not yet been able to guarantee safety or security for smart contracts which may contain flaws. Therefore, consumers have to research extensively before investing in a protocol. With DeFi 2.0, you can create a financial business in charge of its money supply, assets, and management without worrying about central banks or regulators controlling it or changing its rules to suit their interests. This has been made possible by the mass adoption of dApps with their token economies and governance models and a massive surge in interest in cryptocurrencies and tokenization across industries, such as finance, healthcare, education, entertainment media, and energy usage reduction, among others. What are your views on DeFi 2.0? Is it just a fancy term, or can it really change the DeFi space? Let us know in the comments. If you find this video useful, smash the like button as it's a form of encouragement to the creators and we thank you for that support. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on our future crypto-related videos. Please feel free to share this video with your friends so everyone can learn more about crypto and blockchains. Since you made it this far, why not check out our simple but informative content? See you in our next one.